we save this and give it a run right now, we should have some issues, I expect. And there we go. Our app crashed. Well, there's a few reasons why. The first one is that if you look, go back to our activity, you notice that we are pointing to our Picasso view, but it goes straight from our package and goes and finds Picasso view. But but this is not going to work because if you notice, we created actually another folder, another package inside of the main package. We call this view, and that's where we actually added the Picasso view, which means if we double click here, we actually have to go in here and say dot. And you notice there it says view that Picasso. That's say enter. Of course, we have to get rid of the residual Picasso view. That way, now we know that this view here is indeed pointing to this Picasso view code that we just created. Now, of course, if we save and give it a run, we should be able at least to see nothing, which is good. So at least now we know that our view is indeed being picked out and shown in, in, in our application here. That's really good. Now, for us to feel good about ourselves, because, you know, it's important sometimes, especially when you're coding a lot and you want to at least see something on the screen. Uh, what I'm going to do, let's go ahead to our Picasso here. And what we're going to do is, inside of our own draw, we're going to just go ahead and draw a circle. So we're going to say canvas dot draw. Remember, draw canvas knows how to do a lot of things, one of which is to draw things. Let's draw a circle. So I'm going to go ahead and get for the X position of the circle. I'm going to say get width. I want to say get measured width. That is, I'm going to divide it by two because I want this to be in the middle. Get height width, measured width, less such. Divide this by two as well. And the radius, uh, let's give it about seven to eight. And the paint, let's just paint with perhaps the paint line, which is black, I believe. So if you save this, if all goes well and give it a run, there we go. We have a black circle in the middle of the screen. Very nice. Not very eventful, but at least we know that everything is set up for us to keep going and get stuff done. All right. Perfect. OK, so we don't need this. I'm going to get rid of this because I know that it's not going to really do much for us. What do we need to do, though, on draw here? I'm going to get rid of this super there we don't need that call what i need to do here i'm going to draw the actual bitmap that we created at the top here that we instantiated this bitmap so what i'm going to do here i'm going to say canvas dot draw i'm going to draw what i'm going to draw a bitmap because that's what we need to, to draw into so i'm going to pass the bitmap that we created earlier for the left i'm just going to give a zero for the right for the top zero so what i'm saying here is that i want this bitmap to start from the top of the screen here to the left top that's where everything begins in android graphics or in graphics in general okay and the last thing you need to pass here is the paint screen okay so you paint screen if you remember create we created the object here so this will know exactly how to paint thing there we go so now our canvas is ready we've now drawn a canvas a, a bitmap inside of our screen here so it's not going to be visible but we know that this whole visible screen now is ready for us to actually draw onto and then once we draw we'll be able because it's a bitmap we'll be able to fetch all of these things that we've drawn into the screen and then save as an image or whatever else we want okay very nice all right so the next thing we need to do, which is not going to do much now, uh, what we're going to do is that we are going to do a for loop here that will go through the, the path map. Because remember, so this path map here will hold all of the points that we are that are being created as we put our finger on the screen and start moving it, tracing around. OK, so what I'm going to do here, because this is on draw, which means it's called whenever the screen appears. Uh, what are we going to do? We're going to say for integer, call this key, this is advanced for loop. I'm going to say path dot key set. So this is how you loop through a, a hash map. 
So like I said, again, as we go through our path map, which will have, once we're ready, all of the paths of, of our tracing on the screen, we, what we want to do, we, we actually want to draw onto the screen. So how do we draw? We use canvas again, say dot draw path. And there is that draw path method there. So the draw path method takes in the path and takes in the paint. Okay, so what path are we going to get? Well, it's the path that we are iterating through, which is path map. I'm going to get key here. We're going to pass the key, which will contain each and every one of the items that we need. I'm going to pass in the paint line that we need that we created, which is going to be, as you can see here, it's going to be black. Okay. So of course this is not going to do anything now because the path map is going to be empty, right? Because we're not ready yet to get things going. Now we understand that in order for us to be able to fetch the tap or the moving of our finger on the screen, we have to trap, we have to catch, of course, the event listener, which is on touch event listener. And we will do that in the next video.